Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm going to talk about how how to render with edges and without edges. And this is something I had trouble with when I first got into Thea Render. Um, and it's part of getting familiar with the interface. Um, but I'll show you guys uh, what's what the issue is there. And also how to adjust your resolution or your, your aspect ratio for image sizing. Um, so I'll show you all that. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. So here I have uh, I have it set on Presto MC, and what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and render. Go ahead, let's go ahead and start a render here. Let's let that go, and let me get rid of this settings panel. We don't really need that. All right, so we got a rendering going. Um, you know, we have a resolution, our our size here, but sometimes so. Right next to this rendering in this rendering engine selection, when you select your engines, on the left side of it, there's an interactive production rendering switch, and you want to make sure you have that on. And we go ahead and stop the rendering, because once you turn that on, you can now select if you want to render with edges. So you can, and you have the option of rendering in your the window and uh, your sketchup window without edges um and sketchup with edges here so we can go ahead and select that and hit the rendering and it should render over here in the sketchup window all right so you got it rendering here with edges and uh you can go ahead and toggle through this while it's rendering in presto mc so let's just render in sketchup window And you see those those edge lines go away, and uh, or you can toggle, and let's put it in the Thea window, and it's back in there. Um, another thing is, so there you go there. And another thing is, if you're wanting to adjust the the image size, let's just go ahead and in SketchUp window, let's go ahead and do a render. Just let that load a little bit. Okay, we got it going there. Let's drop this down here. So we got the rendering going, and you see the size there. You can go ahead and select the tool. Go ahead and click that there. You'll get your toolbox here or your tool panel here. Um, and right here under camera settings and resolution, you can go ahead and uh, if you know exactly what you want, you can go ahead and input some information there. Or you can mess around with the aspect ratio. And we can actually toggle through while it's rendering to see what we want. If we just want to render that section there, that image, if we want to render, whoops, wrong one. Um, let's try a four, three, you know, and you see it changes up here. So if you know exactly what resolution you want to use, go ahead and input those numbers. But uh, d by default, I believe it's set at 16.9. You know, so you got that there. And um, you can also, if you want to, you can mess around with the lenses, your projections. Um, so, yeah, that's how you do those two things. And um, that's good to know. Um, like I said, this is that's part of getting familiar with the interface itself. Like understanding what's going on on all these these uh, tabs and tool panels and know what's know what's going on there so uh, we can go ahead and stop this rendering here so let's just choose a different one let's just do one one alright so it's just gonna render that section and we'll go ahead and stop the render and there you go so and it gives you that that 
that size. So if you know exactly what you want as far as size, go ahead and input. You know, if you want a one-to-one, -one, 1280 by 1280. Um, my renderings, I always do 16, 16, 9. Um, nice size for me. But uh, whatever whatever your preference is, you know, um, if you guys are in, in, in um, if you guys are in school or you're trying to do some layouts, I know you're going to use different layouts for different size sheets of paper. Um, I remember in, in college we would have to present in so many different ways. So uh, it's up in the air. So that's how you change the sizes there. And that's how you can do the rendering with the edges. Make sure you have this interactive production rendering switch turned on. So then you can manipulate, you know, whether you want to do do it in uh, rent, do a render in SketchUp window, um, in SketchUp window with edges, you know, without it, it, do it in, in, in the in the Thea window uh, rendering um, panel. So there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Um, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks. Hey everybody, I'd like to direct you to a website, Gates3Designs.net. So if you're interested in downloading any of the models I created to create my renderings you can come here and under SketchUp models you can find a lot of the models that I use for my YouTube videos if you notice when I start my models it's in a blank canvas form and you can download that form that that blank canvas form here and take a stab at creating your own renderings whether it's their render or uh, Lumion or whatever you want to use um, through SketchUp you have models here that you could use if you'd like to. A lot of my models um, I create in Revit. So I'm also uploading a lot of the Revit files that I use to create these models. So if you want to take a stab at learning Revit or using Revit, you can download those files here also.